All right, welcome back again. Uh, so what we're going to do this time is if you click on a list, uh, we're going to show something <laughs> in a new view controller. To be honest, we're just going to kind of scratch the surface of it. Uh, but you can, you can kind of see in the diagram here, if you click on um, a list, it will push on a new view controller. It'll say back over here. It'll say the name of the list there. But to be honest, that that's kind of it, right? So right now, if you click on a list, uh, nothing happens. We're going to make something. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the view controller. So I'm just going to call it the task uh, view controller, plural on task. So right here in the view controller areas, I'm just going to right click new file, and then I'm going to say Cocoa Touch class, making sure I'm in the iOS area. Um, this view controller is going to be a table view controller. Uh, looks like I need to switch it to Objective-C. And I'm going to call it the task plural uh, view controller. Do make sure that it's overriding table view controller, or else you will regret it. Uh, they'll stub in some code for you here. Create it into the, the default location, uh, and that'll be great. What this table view controller is going to be doing for us is it's going to be showing a list. Uh, so what I want to do is I just want to kind of start things off uh, by creating a property. Just I'm just going to call it list uh, of type list. Uh, the compiler is obviously very mad about this because it says I have no idea what list is. Um, I think we've covered this before, but in Objective-C, uh, you can do what's called a for declaration, uh, which honestly what this line does the only thing this line does is it gets rid of the uh, the syntax error, right? And so if you've got a lot of uh, header files and they import other things, but the only thing the header file needs is just to say that the class exists. Uh, you can just say at class uh, list. Note you also could have done the import, but this is the recommended style. Um, over in the .m file, uh, so I'm just going to hit Control Command up. Um, I'm going to do some things uh, with that. So since I'm going to be doing real things with it over here, I do need to import it uh, over in the .m file. And yeah, sure enough, you could have just put the import in the .h and been done, but we, we were going to follow best practice. Uh, first thing I'm going to do in here is clean up a little bit. Um, view did load, did receive memory warning. I'm just going to delete those. Um, and you know, maybe I'll bring them back later if I need them, but, but to be honest, I just, just wanted to get rid of those. And then the stuff about the table view, I'm just going to leave it as the defaults for now, and we'll fix that in a later video. Honestly, the only thing I want to do um, is when the view will appear, um, what I want to do, so first I should call super view will appear. Uh, I think in the slides I forgot to make the call to super, but you should always get in the habit of calling super. Really all I want to do is I just want to show the list title in the top. That's it. Right? That's all I really want to do. Um, in order to show something in, in that top area, it's called the title. So every view controller has a title. And so we're going to be setting the title. The thing we'd like to set the title to is to whatever our list uh, title is called. They coincidentally happen to be called the same property uh, because I guess they're both titles. Um, but that's just how it happened to work out. You could have set it to any string, right? Cool. So uh, we've got an import here. Uh, within view will appear, we're just setting that title, and then we've got a property over here, and that'll let somebody else tell us what list we're going to be displaying. That's enough on the code side. Uh, we need this thing to exist, so let's go visit the storyboard next. So in the storyboard, what we want to do is right now, you know, you can kind of zoom out, and you can see that we've got two scenes, so two view controllers. We want to add another view controller. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, new table view controller. I'm just going to drop it on here. Uh, and then once I've dropped it on here, I'm going to move it around a little bit. Cool. So now I've got a table view controller. Uh, what I want to do with this table view controller is the first thing is I want to say what type of class it is. Uh, so it's obviously a task plural uh, view controller. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to create a segue uh, that will automatically launch it whenever any row is clicked. Um, so I think I have to zoom back to 100% here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag um, so from this guy over to this guy. So I'm right click dragging. Um, and it says, what type of segue do you want? Um, do you want a selection segue that does show? Uh, yes, that is what we want to do. Note that there are some other options in here, uh, but 
but the one that we're going to do is show later we'll do one that says present modable but this one is show um, and it is kind of slide over uh, cool so that connection uh, went very well you're encouraged but not required to name the segue uh, I think I'll call mine the show task plural uh, segue uh, whenever you type something like that in Interface Builder, I always copy it, so I hit Command-C there, uh, and then I bring it over into my code. Now, it actually turns out that we're not coming back, um, so uh, we're going to copy it and go over to code, but then we're, we're not coming back to the storyboard, because really all we want to do is we just want to show this thing, we want to set the title, oh, we do want to fix the back button, so we will come back. I forgot about that. So who needs to know this constant that I've got on my clipboard. Um, there's the new view controller we just made. Uh, it turns out he doesn't need to know the name of the segue. The, the view controller that needs to know the name of the segue is the parent, right? So the list view controller in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a constant uh, called the show task segue. Um, and I do things like this just to, to avoid typing errors. Um, which is funny because like in previous videos, I just typed the word list. So I guess I'm, I'm making amends for all my, my bad form with, with good practice. So show task segue. What I want to do with it is I want to try to find the prepare for segue method uh, that I had commented out before. Uh, great. So here's the kind of commented out segue from before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment it. Uh, and kind of use this as a starting point uh, for the code I developed here. Uh, so if we look at this code, we can kind of see that it's got a it's got a problem here. The set detail item doesn't exist. That was something that their uh, template did that, that we're not doing, right? So the first thing I want to do because I've got it on my clipboard is set the segway segway identifier name, um, and I'm going to set it to show task segue. Notice that we only have one segue, so really you could just delete uh, lines 125 and 129, uh, but I am going to try to follow best practice uh, and use those. Uh, once we get uh, that segue, so we know that line 126 is going to get called, uh, the next thing we do is we, we figure out what row is being called, and then we get the object for that row. This is actually going to be a list object. So this is kind of the uh, the list for row, uh, and hopefully we've got that above as well. And then what we're going to do with it uh, is we're going to set that list uh, on our destination view controller. The function that we're going to use is called set list, uh, and the reason it's called set list is because we made a property uh, called list. So there there does exist a function called set list. Um, but if you save it, it'll say undeclared identifier. Oh, it's, it's actually complaining about list. That's because I meant to type list for row. All right. Um, so it's still complaining. And it's complaining because it says, I don't know this thing called list. That is the right name. The, the problem is, is that you haven't imported it. So if we want to use um, something that's over in the task view controller, we need to import it. The other thing we need to do is we need to cast it, right? Um, so it might work without a cast, but I do want to use a cast. Where the fuck did it go? Ah, prepare for segue. Um, so it looks like it did work without a cast. Um, I'm going to cast it anyway. Um, so I know that this is a task view controller. To be honest, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I thought that it would throw a syntax error if I didn't add that, that cast. Uh, and cast in Objective-C works just like other languages. You just put it in parentheses for the variable. So we're actually just casting this destination view controller uh, to set the list. In theory, it should work, right? So, I mean, in theory, everything should be wired up uh, to actually pop on another view controller and set the title. So if I click on uh, iOS dev, uh, it pushes it over, which is great, uh, and it shows up. The only thing I don't like at all, and this is just kind of a little nitpicky, is that by default, the back arrow says to-do list. Uh, I believe if it's long, it'll shorten it for you, which I think is kind of neat. So it just says back in that case. So like in this in this case, it'll show you more because it can. Uh, and then if it's long, it'll just show you back. I actually, personal preference, I wish it just always said back. Um, and so if you want to leave it, that's totally fine. Um, 
but if you want to at least know how to change it, uh, I'll show you how you can change it. Uh, the way you can change it is by modifying its navigation item. So what I can do is I can just click on this guy and that selects the navigation item. And then what I want to do is I want to show the right hand panel uh, and the uh, back uh, you need to change on the, the, the navigation item that you would have be showing, right? So it, it either says to do list or it says back. Some people get confused because they try to go show it on this navigation item and that's, that's not the right place to do it. So if I wanted to say back, do make sure you hit save before you run it again. Sometimes the storyboard is funny about not saving. Um, so that one says back, but it always did. Uh, and now that one says back as well. Also, since that was just my style preference, if you wanted to, you could just put like a couple spaces in here. Uh, and again, make sure you hit save because the storyboard is kind of funny about saves. Um, you could take it entirely off. Yeah, see there it did that thing where it didn't really save it. Um, Put in a bunch of spaces. I hit save. Uh, I went and modify. I'm going to go modify another file too, right? And save that one as well. Um, so see, it doesn't. All right, there it definitely saved it because the icon changed colors. Um, and so now it just is blank. So if you prefer just an arrow, uh, you can put some spaces there. Uh, my personal preference is to show uh, the word back. So I'm going to actually go back to saying back. So I saved it, file change uh, colors there, uh, now it says back. Great, uh, catch the slides up, that should be it. So we made a list, uh, we set the title and the view controller in the slides here. I did not do a good job of calling super view will appear. I happen to know it does nothing, uh, but it's still best practice to call it. Uh, created a new view controller, created a automatic segue, uh, which just fires when you click the cell. Um, and then we set the list uh, on that next person, uh, which caused his title to be displayed. Cool. So that's all we got for this time. Uh, come back next time and we'll start actually doing things inside that view controller. See you then.